So, but now I won't take any more time away and I just give Paresh the stage and I'm happy to hear your, your case sharing and what you like to tell us. Thank you. Thank you, Jürgen. Please. You put me into nostalgic state. Going back to the fish confidence and friends and intense homeopathy. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, friends. You all are in different part of our world. And I'm here to share my journey as a homeopath, as a practitioner of this method, sensation method, and my journey with the software and how they both complement each other. I'm sure all of you must have had experience where patient comes to you. We sit with the patient for two hours and end of it, we say, I don't understand anything. So I distinctly remember a time in the beginning of my life where um, I worked with Dr. Rajan, I worked with Dr. Jayesh in their office for a long, long time. I started my own office. But still, when you are in your office alone and you see the patient, there are a lot of times you get stuck. You don't know what to do. And what you know, need is somebody to help you, to guide you. And that's where the idea of developing a software came to me. And then the journey started with the software. Then the sensation method came up. But the big destination in this method was the idea from shifting from delusion to an experience. And I was kind of blessed because I had many good cases of where patients went to the, sun, to the source. So for me, it was an important question. Why in some cases we get the source and why there are so many other cases? A large proportion of cases, we do not get the good sensation or a good source. What is a mistake that we are doing? What is a technique? What are we supposed to do? So that journey that I'm going to share with you is this journey. So let me share my PowerPoints here. Okay. So, Parish, let's I let, start. I let you go. I, but when you need me, you just call me. I just turn my sure. room off for yeah. the moment, and you just yeah, yeah. guide us. Okay. So, let's start our journey. So for all of us, this is one biggest dilemma that we face in our life when the patient is sitting in front of me, that there are so many different approaches that we have. Well, our own heart is with sensation method, with sensation, finding the sensation and the source. But there are many other parts like therapeutics, like specific remedies, keynotes. So which is the one that's needed in this case? Which is the one that will take me home, take me to the right remedy? So as I've looked through those cases, looked through our experience with patients, where you know, patients will get exhausted. We would ask them questions and questions and we would get exhausted. You know, some children would get scared to come to our office. 
because we asked them too many questions. And as I studied those cases again and again, and then what I understood, what came to me is that the journey to sensation needs no action. So the meaning of this wu wei is the action that does not involve any struggle or effort. Action which is not action. Effortless action. What do we mean by that? And let's, let's explore that with respect to a case. So when I examine all those cases, I realized that whenever there is too much of effort, when there's too much of questioning, too much of a struggle, when I try to use some technique, then there is a difficulty. So what we learn is when the technique falls off, when the struggle falls off, when you drop the effort, there is ease in reaching to the sensation. It just flows like a river. So my cases which would go on for two year, two hours, two and a half hours, and the duration came down to maybe 45 minutes or an hour. Whenever there was anxiety to find the sensation, I have to find the sensation. Again, I learned that when we drop the compulsion, when we drop the anxiety, when we just surrender, then it was very easy to reach there. It was easy to find the remedy. But if we get stuck even to finding a remedy, if I say that, oh, what if I don't find a remedy for this patient? Oh my God, he will stop coming to me. Oh my, this patient will drop out. What he will think about me? The day we drop that, it's really easy to heal the patient. And then over a period of years, you realize the day your effort or you or your ego or the doer, when you drop that, when you become aware of that, then you go beyond success and failure. Patient getting success is not your success and patient's failure is not your failure. You are just an instrument, that's it. And that's when you are just with the patient in the moment, then what happens? Patient connects to the right symptom. Patient and you from out of nowhere, you come to the right remedy. And it just happens. So the beauty of it is that we are not stuck to any one approach. There's never an emphasis that in this patient, I have to find, I have to find the sensation. You are not stuck to anything one. And you open up to different approaches. The approach which is needed for this patient in this moment, that's it. It could be anything. The approach could be through pathology, the approach could be through keynote or through repertory or through Materia Medica. You use evolution as a concept, you use sensation in kingdom or you use force. Each method is different. Some methods 
which are very logical which are technique lot of memorizing lot of theorizing or you use computers you use softwares but when you see on the right side there is art there is just being with the patient to uncover the experience and let me tell you all this are not just solitary thing it is not that in a case i'm going to use this approach and the other approach will not be there this division of logical and artistic conscious and unconscious is just in our mind in cases with patients and in life it's just blending together of all these things so the key pillars that i feel which are very vital is the accuracy which of a method i'm using the accuracy of it the flexibility of it and ability to use different methods together in a case synergy of it and and realization that when we pull in together the experience of different colleagues the experience of our community together that's when it works the best when we were developing the software and when you see that sensation method is developed but even if i talk about a remedy there are so many teachers of sensations who present such beautiful sensation of different sub kingdoms different sources different view points of it so when we work together that's when the best result is achieved so working together is important well let's talk about different possibility of cases i'm going to restrict myself a lot more to the sensation approach and the sensations here ideal case is where patient takes us easily to the sensation to the kingdom to the sub kingdom and to the source we just simply have to sit back and say a simple question tell me more and more and more it's the best case to learn the sensation to learn the remedy to learn the group to differentiate with sensations of different remedies to learn case taking but let me tell you this a very very few i can't tell you the exact percentage but a very small percentage of our cases would go very naturally to the source then the second a group where the kingdom is very clear and in some cases you even know the sub kingdom so i would say oh this case needs a plant i'm sure and probably this this is either solanaceae family or ranunculaceae family or this is an animal and maybe this is an insect but which one then what we need to do is we use either the source words sometimes we use pathology sometimes we use miasm sometimes we use key nodes some rubric well there are some cases where you do you are not aware about the kingdom that hint is not very clear but patient gives us very beautiful key notes a very beautiful rubrics at the generalities level or any level then what we can do is use certain tools to go back and see 
which is the kingdom that's coming up is it plant is it animal is it mineral oh this is the repertorization and then use certain tools and confirm whether the ideas are matching or not well there are a group there are there's a small group of patients some cases especially when students are taking cases who are not very familiar they would want some approach which is very easy to use i will demonstrate that method as well we all are used to shortcuts the technology makes us dependent on those things makes us lazy so so i will we will talk about that approach so what i'm going to do is first i will show you one i will talk about a case which is kind of typical or an ideal sensation method case where patient would lead us gradually into the kingdom into the sub kingdom into the source and how we can learn various aspects of homeopathy from this so this female patient a young female 24 year old and she had lot of digestive complaints lot of irritations belching loud belching discomfort after eating especially dairy products milk cheese would aggrave it her so maybe she had lactose intolerance or as a child also she would have nausea and vomiting after drinking milk even now when she is grown up and she is eating very healthy food but always there is some discomfort there is acidity there is gas there is reflux this high degree of discomfort well another issue in her life is the pimples which is much marked before menses and she said this vanity this looks are very important for her in her life but more than all this complaints which would give us some symptoms she was quite nervous while presenting the case so for me this observation this intense nervousness was the most important symptom of course this whole discussion about her symptoms and about her life about her childhood went on for quite some time and i could see that she is not relaxed she is very conscious of what she is answering well when you want to go deep into the sensation the first quality we know is that sensation is unconscious and till the time our mind is active patient is thinking patient is very logical and patient is very conscious of what he is speaking you do not get the sensation so the best technique to do the, to go to the sensation is switch off the mind any method so journey to sensation can be actually described is a journey from a conscious to an unconscious realm and once how do we know that we are into unconscious or that we are getting an experience so patient starts talking illogically whatever experience that she describes it's illogical it's global means it will connect in different areas of patient's life whether it's physical complaints or her life emotions dreams fantasies anything 
it there are a lot of gestures that patient uses it comes up very spontaneously and patient uses words of different kingdom non human words what we call it so for us it was important that we explore this nervousness so i speak to her and i tell her to talk about it so she says even in when as a child when she was in school and when asked to write paper she could never articulate herself so she is an artist as well so speaking about her paintings to other people was a very very difficult task communication is a very big issue so sometimes when she would smoke she could communicate very easily and then very spontaneously she gives one example so you see what's important for me is spontaneity that comes up and she talks about one intense example of her life this is a very very it's a potential thing where you would be able to get to the state to the sensation so she says if i am at work and if i am having a dialogue with certain person and they in a certain way making me little nervous i can't stand big and say hey i can talk to this person i go back to that little girl and then the gesture came up now she says i don't know how to speak or relate my feelings to someone i can be like a little girl for us it's very important to perceive that this is a place where she's expressing her experience it's an intense situation it's spontaneous and it comes up with a gesture so somebody who makes me little nervous i have to stand big and say hey i can talk to this person what is this communicating what is this experience that she's talking about well we don't have to theorize we wait and we simply be with her so she says if a person is rude and person is demanding i can't stand for myself i lose my speech i don't know how to handle myself i walk out of it let somebody else take care i don't want to deal we simply ask question why she does that what's her perception somebody is rude and demanding what's her perception her reaction is she can't stand up she loses her speech she has to walk out of it what is this i get very scared something bad is going to happen overwhelming sense of nervousness is there and having no control it's a fight or a flight kind of reaction you see her experience is getting a beautiful shape we are able to perceive her better she says i know i am a strong person inside by a, but i appear very meek and incapable not incapable but meek is the best word so now you see standing up to somebody and answering or being a strong person or being a meek person this is where her experience is becoming extremely clear 
where the issue for her is stronger and weaker. Always the sensation you will see would be in polarities. What do we do? We don't have to do anything. We don't have to interpret. We just have to simply put her a question. Talk about meek. Meek is powerless, is weak, is light, is not fierce. You see the opposite that she gives us. So when I do certain things, I feel powerful and strong. But certain times I feel meek and powerless. So this experience is becoming more and more clear where the issue is to do with stronger and weaker. Weak, meek and not fears. It's fight or a flight kind of thing. And overwhelming nervousness, fear, panic. So now we know most likely this is what's the kingdom that she's talking about is quite clear for us. The experience is very, very unique. But how do we go further? So what we simply do is detach from all these things, from her complaints, from her life, and just want to focus on this experience more. Simply say, say more about this experience. So detaching is a very, very good tool. So I say, forget about yourself. Just detach yourself from your life. But just talk about this, about me and being stronger. It's like having no say or no choice. It's like being childish. It's like a children or an animal who have no voices. It's just simply touching the energy, touching the experience, being with the experience, gradually patient will take us deeper into the experience. So once you know the kingdom, once, like you know, Dr. Rajan described it as sensation A, B and C. A is the kingdom, B is the sub-kingdom and C is the source. Once you know the kingdom, which is stronger versus weaker, somebody who's rude, who's kind of saying something and you go back into this and you want to stand, which is meek and fierce. When you touch that, you go deeper, forget about yourself. And when you do that, she says, it's like being a child or being an animal and you have no voice. Now this is a journey for us to go into the sub-kingdom deeper. So what is the experience of a child or of an animal? We are not going to think about it. She is going to tell us how does it, how is this experience to be a child and to be an animal having no voice? It's like an infant or an animal or a toddler. You do not have a say. There's always someone over you. It's like a master or it's not a parent over a child or over an animal. It's like a domesticated animal. It could be an owner of an animal. See, so nicely, she immediately led us to the sub-kingdom. So it's, again, an issue where you do not have any say and it's issue of hierarchy. It's kind of someone over you and you are here. It's like a master or it's like a parent. Master to some animal who's a domesticated animal or a parent to a child. 
so so nicely she gives us an experience of a sub kingdom as well this is simply say more more about it what's that experience when you have somebody over you you are told what to do you're abused you're trained to do certain things it goes hand in hand with children because we train children children are trained to behave in a certain way you tell them you behave like this you do this you do that now if you this is a further qualification of the sub kingdom where where you are trained to do certain things you are abused and then from her she goes into one incident that happened in a train when she was traveling so when she was traveling and she was sitting her and what she could see was a mother and a child opposite in their interaction the child was playing lot of antics was doing lot of things only what she needed was her mother's attention but mother was simply you know today's generation is simply on her mobile playing game and she was not paying any attention to the child so patient says it was breaking my heart even if the child looked at the mother mother would just push her aside it's like you know mother is not even there and i know this is going to affect the child in a big time when she grows up maybe this will affect her in her communication and right in the beginning of her life in our case she said that communication was a big issue for her where parents are abusive you drag them along with you you smack them you ignore them it's like a slap on your face you are pulled around this is how the mothers behave now this issue is extremely clear which will lead us to a sub kingdom where mother's care nurturing affection and missing mother's care and love and affection is a big part of that theme so we explore that incident we come back to the energy of course when i'm presenting here this is an edited case but patients would go to some different path what we have to do is bring them back so parents or whoever raised you there is sense of discipline going to school in a in a way it is some sort of training how to act and how to be in a society and then she speaks a lot about being in the society which is very important for her which is again the part of the sub kingdom so you are trained to be in a certain place eat at a certain time sleep at a certain time we all are programmed we all are trained and it's not necessary that this is what we want to do but we have to do that and you see i don't like the life in city because it's you have to rush you have to be somewhere you have to go to your job you're trained you're programmed get up in the morning get ready rush to your job be there at 10 every day it puts pressure 
on your free time. It's like you go up and if you see, we all are just kind of running. We all are programmed to accomplish and to do certain things. So she perceives her life as being trained, being programmed. So this source has a lot to do with being trained and being programmed to do something. So how is this experience to be programmed? How does it feel if you're programmed? How is that experience? It's very scary because you have to work for somebody and not for yourself. You feel very sorry. You have to work for a higher authority and not himself. Again, higher and lower. Again, a hierarchy that comes up. So patient keeps moving from kingdom to sub-kingdom to the source and they keep moving up and down. It's not a linear journey. How is it? How is it to be like that? It's very repetitive and boring. Now you see this something completely different thing comes up. She was talking about being programmed, being trained. And from there, she jumps to repetitive and boring. There's not much pleasure. Doing a nine to five job, it's like a cycle. You do all those things over and over again. And this is the kind of a gesture she does. And that's the life of a lot of people. I just can't conform with that. It's rotation. It's cycle. It's repetitiveness that she talks about. And it's very scary. Not having freedom being programmed is scary. And from there, she goes to Afghanistan, where how women, women are treated in a very demeaning and horrible way. That has to do with power. So men there feel very strong and power. But women are built more to endure a lot more pain than men. And then she talks about their life, how the violence happens, how they are not allowed to drive and how they are physically tortured and how they have to bear a lot of violence and torture by men. So she spoke in detail about it. And then I asked about the opposite polarity. She speaks about the strength and the power and the fears, the authority figure, top of a food chain, wildlife. And she says, I don't know where am I going? I'm talking nonsense. Well, some observations to share. She's wearing a snake ring. There's lactogen intolerance. There's a lot of irritability before menses, craving for vegetables, pasta, yogurt, which again, she doesn't tell it so well. And the favorite color, green. So from here, let's go to the software. I'm sure you all must have guessed the case and the remedy because it's so very obvious. Let me show you how we can use different approaches here for this case. One easiest approach, which is very suitable for students. Let's start with that. So this is our new version of Synergy homeopathic software, the further development of Mac repertory and reference works into a new edition. And I will explain you more about this. First, let's do the case. So we have repertory here. We have library of books. We have search. 
and various other tools. And we have white request tools here. So when you click here, it gives us an option where you can type the patient's case. So I have the whole patient's case typed here. What I'm going to do is select the whole case. Everything is selected. I just copy it. I'm going here and just pasting the whole case. And moment I press enter, what the software will do, it will observe all the non-human words in the case and it will show you here. So all the sensation words, if we, there is a possibility that we may miss, but the software will not miss those words. It will pick them up and it will list all those words here. So you can see all the sensation words, which can belong to any kingdom. Software is unbiased. It will not just pick up only plant cases or only plant words or mineral words. No, every word of different kingdom, sub-kingdom, souls, miasm. And then it will put for you here. Well, you can, there is a possibility you put just five important words of the case, 10 words of the case, three words of the case and analyze. For here, I'm just selecting the whole case. And then you can do multiple things. If you are a lazy person like me, you can look at a quick result. The ideal is you analyze the whole case. And if you want to do a synergy, you export words into the clipboard. We will talk about it. So let's go into the sensation analysis. So when you click on sensation analysis, then what it does is there is a guide. It tells you exactly the different kingdom which are indicated in the case. So in this case, possibility of animals are very high. Now, when you look at it, why the software is thinking of animal kingdom? So when you look here, it tells you that patient use this word, domesticated, grab, power, abused, surviving, free, freedom, all the words. But now this words, the software is asking you, did the patient give you an experience of victim aggressor? Like somebody who's stronger and somebody who's weaker. And stronger is fierce. Stronger who's out to finish you. Is this the experience that patient is conveying? Yes. That was the gesture. That's what she conveyed. Another theme of animal is need to be attractive. Sexuality is a big part of an animal remedy. So the words possible are that patient use vanity, beauty, horrible, pretty. Patient may connect with a source animal. Patient also gave you this hint of a strong maternal instinct, which is very, very specific for mammals. <laughs> So like this, patient will give you all the words. If you don't agree, you can simply say, no, I don't agree with it. But if you agree, you simply go ahead and then it will show you, oh, this case could be a mammal. It could be reptile. It could be birds. Now, why mammal? Why reptile? Simply go to the words and examine those words. The same way, these are the words. This should be the experience conveyed by the patient. Belonging to a group, safety within the group, strong maternal instinct, issue of hierarchy, where there is a master, where there is a parent, where there is a controlling person. So yes, I know this is a mammal. If you want to see what are the words for reptile, you click here and then you can think about it. So it actually, what software does, 
rather than giving you the exact result it makes you think it trains you into the process of thinking comparing the experience it combines the ex- the software expertise with the subjective experience so science and the art of perception you go further oh so this is telling us it could be carnivore and it could be artiodactyla now you see the difference is so small between them and as you examine the words it is an artiodactyla artiodactyla are the cattle group it brings us to bovids when you examine more into bovids the cattle group the prey animals and then you see the remedy it could be lac caprinum or lac ovis or lac defloratum you can look into the words or examine from here let's go back so there is a quick way possible you can just simply look here and simply expand it and look further you can see it as a bar graph you can see it as a pie chart in a different these are the different presentations but this kind of graphical presentation usually helps us to perceive better or i can sometimes you know just compare that if it's a plant what could it be if it's an animal what could it be what myism could come up so here now i what i need to do is differentiate the remedy what i need to do is what is it exactly is it lac caprinum is it lac caninum is it lac defloratum is it lac ovis so then what we have here is the information the sensation information about various thing so you have information about animals about plants about minerals nozodes sarcodes everything so let's talk about mammals and you see we have so many mammal remedies you can click any one and you can read more about it we will see that more but here what's important let's go down so let's come here what are the mammal themes that you see in a case or what are the themes of mammal what are the sensations of mammals so need to belong to a group issue of hierarchy strong maternal instinct problems related to menses lactation and so many other things and how it would be for a predator mammals how would it be for a prey mammal for the domestic mammals and everything so here when you study it guides you it tells you oh we are looking into a domestic mammal why because you have to be under control of somebody you are tamed you are trained you have to be work under somebody there is no free will somebody is telling you what to do so let's come back here so you can study artiodactyla that's the group of those animals or you can directly go to the source of our case which is lac defloratum that's the skim milk of cow and then you can study in detail about the source words that she spoke and that is let's go back to the powerpoint so these are some of the rubrics of course all this rubrics are taken retrospectively this was not in the beginning of the case that i had done this is a retrospective thing but even when you put all the physical symptoms you can see it still indicates simple keynotes that patient described 
like how milk aggravates or bloating irritations acidity hyperacidity milk after water brush irritations after milk nausea in the morning irregular menses and then if you want to add the green color that she spoke about the craving for vegetables that she spoke about but much more than important the source that she speaks about and what's the source is to be in a routine to be in a circle meek the word meek is a very specific source quality for cow and the color green this is what dr rajan has written as one of the big observation that color green is a favorite color for this remedy so let me show you the source what i would like to show you here is here this is the source quality which is moving round and round the circle the cycles so dr divya did proving of this remedy lack defloratum and where patient at a time and again spoke about being in a cycle being in a circle and this was the exact gesture that came up in the proving so it's the energy of the source though there is a slight difference but this is exactly the energy so how do we study this remedy so for us there is an information here and it's a different it's not only about this i'm talking about even when you talk about let's i'll just give you because we are here suppose we talk about bird remedies suppose if it is a bird how many bird do we know in our matter america maybe falcon maybe eagle maybe swan 3 4 5 but if you actually examine you see these are both these are the remedies in our matter america these are very well proved these are the remedies available but not so well proved and you see the list so many of them and i can click and read about it we talk about four five but see how many remedies are there so there is a wealth of information here the same about plants the same about minerals the same about nosodes sarcodes this is not the only way to get to study more information you can go into the books so we have if i'm talking about the software we have more than 1000 books and you can study you can compare remedies you can differentiate the remedy or you can do research let me give you a simple example now i don't know what are the remedy for mammals so i would simply say okay go into the kingdom and go into mammal and show me all the mammal remedies so then it will show you list of all the mammal remedies that are there and then you can just click on any one of them and study and you see so many of them so for for example our lack defloratum which is here now this is available from so many books and you can use and authors our traditional our pioneers like kent or hanneman or all those authors are there or our recent developments so we talk about dr rajan's understanding or talk about massimo or you talk about different all the new authors all of them all these books cases provings everything is available here so you can read about it you can differentiate you can open multiple together so for example i want to read from here i would open it into a different tab and i can just read to i can compare them side to side so i would just open split view compare this into side to side or i would simply you know sometimes even the language like suppose if i'm german speaking or i'm french 
or I'm a Russian and I don't know, then I would say simply do a right click and go and translate it into different languages. And there's a huge list and you can translate into different languages and understand it better. And there are many, many more features here. So I'm not going to go into deep into it, but still now I would say, suppose I want to study the family. This is how Dr. Rajan and the teachers, they do the work. So for example, I want to study about mammals. Or I want to study about artiodactyla. I want to study about bovids. So I would simply select them, apply, and say search in different repertories. So we have list of repertories and you can select any repertory. And you can say, okay, either search all sections or search only mine and show me all the rubrics where you will see mammals. Mammal remedies coming up. Sometimes I would say, okay, show me remedy by kingdom or a single remedy. So show me only the lack defloratum. I would say, okay, show me lack defloratum. And then I can just click this and study all the rubrics. I can open multiple remedies. I can open multiple kingdoms, do multiple searches and just compare them. It's so simple to do it. I just simply have to click on plus and it will open a multiple tabs here. Sometimes I want to compare all lack remedies. So I would say simply go to the remedy and show me symptoms of, let's say, okay, show me remedies symptoms of this, of this, but not in this. All this I can do by simply clicking here, doing plus and minus. So show me symptoms rubrics, which has lack asinum, lack caninum, but not lack defloratum. So you can compare. Show me, show me rubrics of belladonna and hyosamus, but where there is no stramonium or calcarea and silicata, but no calcarea fos, or any kind of combination you can play. This helps us to do research, helps us to compare remedies, helps us to find out the exact rubric. Or sometimes I would simply say, show me lac defloratum and search in my repertory, all the section, what is the kind of representation? So which section has the highest remedy, uh, highest rubrics? So then it gives you the graph like this. And we are still developing more and more tools to study this more. So combination of words and this, and there's a lot of development happening. So our traditional repertories are there. Let me show you something about our reliable repertory, which is the new repertory, new work that we are doing. We'll talk about it in a few minutes. Different case needs a different remedy. So you can search through different repertory. You can select a right repertory and do it. A simple example, I don't know exactly where to look for that rubric. Then I would, there is a global search here. I would say, show me fright, just simple. Where do I search fright into the repertory? So moment I press enter, what happens? It searches through all the repertories and all the library books. So you can see here different sections and different repertories. You have all the result. So what happens? I can select actually the right rubric that I need, not only from this repertory, but I can go into any repertory and select it. Or I can search 
through different books so it has given me so many remedies and so many references i simply just click on it and read exactly what is the sentence i just click here and it takes me to the exact sentence into the book into that book exactly at the location also i can what i can do is that this search put a filter of some author some repertory show me in specific kingdom or a specific remedy or a section this is what i can do and simply repertorize and study let me show you another feature so sometimes we say that suppose if i have a case let's let me show you this one case for example so we have this suppose patient gave me all this rubrics and the keynotes and i don't know which is the kingdom is this is this calcarea is it lactiferatum so then i can what i can do in my clipboard say show me all these i can also say show me only insect remedies or only mammal remedies like this or show me only plants or show me only mineral remedies or sometimes you know you heard lot of teachers in last 4 days like dr mahesh gandhi or dr shankaran or we have yan chultan or or mikhail yaki or so many different methods so what i can do and i can ex explore the families just as an example if i want to ex examine minerals then i can examine mineral remedies according to yan shulton or the traditional mineral way with lanthanides or dr rajan's method or morrison's organics the carbons dr massimo's work which was there but now we are working in a much more refined way so that's again coming up and it's simple what we have to do is simply click on it and it gives us a periodic table you click and it takes us exactly which silicates can come up or let's talk about plants so then again it gives you Cronquist system, Dahlgren system, APG, pre-flowering, or Shelton's map, or Mikhail Yaki's work, or Dr. Rajan's work, like Dr. Rajan's superclass and subclass idea is going to come up. We have already done good work on it, and that's going to be included here. Or we are working with Dr. Massimo. We are working with Jan Shelton. We are working with Dr. Mahesh Gandhi, with Mikhail Yaki. All of them. to put more and more ideas here animals so again you have animal kingdom you have dr shankaran's massimos or animal parts and the, see there are different ways you can look fungi you can do myasms you can do bovel nozodes colors yan chultons way so many different ways so it's there are so many things but much much more important is what i would like to highlight is this part of it as i spoke about the philosophy where we need to work together sitting in my office my work alone cannot be sufficient and i have to collaborate with my colleagues where i learn from you where i share with you suppose if i have a case of of a rare remedy for example i want to prescribe tiger as a remedy i don't know what's the remedy or what are the different remedies or anybody has a case anybody knows the sensation of tiger any proving that's when this forum that we have developed helps us to connect or we have you just have a online lectures oh we have dr rajan talking about this remedy or we have yan chultan talking about this remedy or we have some other teacher talking about this 
so we can see those videos and understand it better or i am a student and i need somebody to help me to guide to do mentorship with me to solve my cases all this this social connection see with the technology coming up together now there is a seminar happening let's say in germany there is a new information coming up that should be available to all of us together or we talk about our newest work and that's exactly that this is from my heart and this is our reliable repertory see we have lot of repertories but what we really lack is is a very intense quality is what we needed into it so what we did a project we are putting this project as a community project where what we do is we can you see an asterisk in front of some of the remedies mm -hmm. so here what we have done is when you just do a right click and when you click on a reference string it will actually show you what was the exact sentence in materia medica which meant this remedy for this rubric so when you add any remedy into any rubric it gives you the exact reference now we have we have thousands of rubric more than 150000 rubrics even much more than that and the number of remedies would be too huge so it's a huge huge project but we have started long back and we are working more and more and more and more on it why because this gives us the exact reference that we are looking for so when i when my patient has given me this this rubric then i would simply look is this patient giving me this kind of reference is this the patient's experience like this so then your prescription becomes authentic mm -hmm. and this is a community work where we all are going to work together different teachers together different homeopaths together and then we contribute to homeopathy for us mm -hmm. together do we have time for my second case yes or are we how many more minutes do we have seven it's because it's 7:15 yeah i mean we have half an hour before we have a break and then after oh. the break so maybe just one word before you start that case parish i mean i have yes. to i have to admit this is magic and my serious concern i have to bring up that lots of us will lose their profession because what you've just shown us is we just type a case or a patient types his case puts it into the vital quest software and then he gets <laughs> he gets to to a suggestion of his remedy yeah i mean i'm joking yeah. but this is yeah you have to of course take the case and you have to get all these information but it's i mean before you get into this i just want to state i mean i've worked many many years with mac repertory and then you have a second software which is reference works and just to bring awareness to for, for those who haven't even installed it the update this software which uh, parish you are introducing us to is one software it means it's all in one box you don't have to open different softwares you just just use that and you can add the vital quest which is on top there as an expert tool and then you can do all these beautiful um, amazing things and you feel like you've shown us that beautiful case but now we feel like there is so much consolidation it it's like a super foundation where you feel like yes this is what i this is scientific work as well beautiful i mean you worked that out amazingly and i mean i did a big step by the end of last year i think where i just i couldn't wait anymore so because if you have a mac and you want to use the latest operating system 
which is Big Sur now, or you buy a new M1 chip Mac now, then you can't use the old software anymore, Mac repertory and reference works. So I thought to myself, okay, I can never learn it better than giving the old thing up. So I gave it completely up and I'm now using only um, the new Synergy software. And I'm also uh, blessed to test it in this uh, core group. And I, I can only say it has enormously improved. And from the beginning to now, it's such a gem. And I can only recommend using it. So thanks for showing us so far, but we're not done yet. So Good. I just turn myself or I just be quiet and um, you carry on. Thank you. Okay. So then, thank you, thank you, Jürgen. So for us, our philosophy is that the software is a guide. It is. It will not to replace human beings to our subjective feel, to our art, to our experience, because the software is a mechanical tool. So what we have done, we have taken an expertise of a machine, of a of its. We cannot remember thousand books. So searching through thousand books and offering you an option in a very intelligent way that your human mind can use that in the best way. Let me, let me demonstrate that. So it's, suppose, let me delete this. Okay, so I will just simply select randomly some rubrics. Like suppose if I have a patient who has this three symptoms. Just I'm just putting three, four symptoms. So what I can do take patients physical symptoms going into the mind and going into different repertories, searching the right rubric putting into the clipboard and you can see in the clipboard you you have the analysis so that you have it here now this is what we do traditional repertory but also possible is sometimes patient gives us a very important symptom you don't know where is that in the repertory then you can actually search in Materia Medica and export that in to this clipboard. So what I mean by that, just suppose patient gives you word meek and, and say also in the same remedy, I'm looking for a word which is helpless. Just, I'm just putting these two words and I want to search these words through the repertory and through my reference library. Okay, because if this query, it gives you results in reference library. So it has given me 22 remedies of all this thing. If I want to put this analysis also with my rubrics, I simply click here and then you see my clipboard graph has this rubrics and my reference library search. So you can combine repertory and you can combine Materia Medica search. Okay, let's go into vital quest. So now what I want to do is simply suppose my patient has given me some word like stiff, tight, caught, free some sensation words and I have done some sensation analysis and then I want to export this as well into my analysis. So what I want to do is click here. So my this analysis of this goes into my clipboard. Of course, I can look into the sensation analysis that I did last time I demonstrated, but I can just put. So what I'm doing. I'm putting my rubrics. I have put my reference library means Materia Medica search and I've put my sensations together. 
what you are doing is you are doing actually doing the synergy of different approaches if you want you can still add from therapeutics so you go here into the case taking and you go into therapeutic approach and then you go here and you go here and then there is a method by which you can actually select rubrics or words or remedies and you add into your clipboard so there are different ways in a case i may use only repetry or i may combine repetry with materia medica search combine rubrics materia medica sensation therapeutics or i use the recent techniques of kingdoms sub kingdoms you see the possibilities are immense and there are so many small 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 features which you can work in your own way a simple example so now we have different ways of analyzing so you can change your strategies what you can do is develop your own strategies make new strategies con reconfigure it do it bonding assessment way do it kentian way do it sensation way and all this is possible you can create in a very different different possible ways you can work with it all of us we have for example we have let's go into here our favorite books so i would say show me remedies so then we have cases we have clinical books we have journals we have materia medica books natural history books philosophy books proving books repetitory editions reverse repetitories like you say okay or you can customize your own so for example this is one category that i've created or this is another category so you can put your favorite books study from your favorite books search from your favorite books it's just there are immense possibility to play around with it okay so now there is another feature which is very useful in some cases and that is sometimes we use some of the rubrics and i think okay i want to look for a word where patient has given me a sensation of tightness if i would put it in a white request here it will give me a very broad because i know only one sensation of tight how do i do it what do i do it then you don't have to go here there is still a better option and that is sensation repetitory so when you go into this sensation repetitory what we have done is all the sensations are given here so suppose if i say okay go into sensation of tightness how many classifications do you know and if you still want to go bigger into it i will say go into theme of tightness so then it will go into a theme and tight you may find i'm doing it very quickly don't worry you can learn it easily so you see there are so many remedies like tightness can be a part of animal kingdom tightness can be part of aposinusy it could be spiders could be birds could be euphobiaceae dioscoriaceae mollusk solanaceae so many 33 classifications and we can't even think of it and the beauty is i can simply put into my clipboard and analyze it as my regular rubric so you can actually play around with different options here let's go back to one very small case very very small how i used this techniques it's one of the example that we spoke about different examples 
So this was again a case uh, of a 25 year old young patient and she had throat pain. Recurrent cold and cough and her throat would get inflamed. Tonsils and throat would get inflamed. And it would be a lot of pain. Stinging pains that she described and which would be better if she would have something cold. This was very peculiar. She also had hyper, hypothyroid and sometimes I would feel low energy and there was a big description about it. But as usual, as I said, what was important was the observation of her pace of speech, which was very hurried, which was way higher. So she would talk, 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 too many things. And this was my observation. And then she speaks about various issues that she faced in her life. I'm not going to show the speak about the whole detail case. But one of the main things she spoke about that people annoy her, people irritate her. Some examples that she gave. She gave example of her mother, she gave example of her neighbor, she gave example of her workplace. The issues that she would face with people, with her mother. The issue was that her mother, because of her age, was becoming deaf. So whenever she would keep her television on, it would have a very loud volume. And that would irritate her. That would annoy her. That noise would aggravate her. So that my neighbor's air conditioner, so my bedroom is there, bedroom window is there, and just next to it, my neighbor's air conditioner unit is there. And that machine is making a lot of noise. And then I become sleepless because of that. And then what was your experience? What do you feel? And then she talks about big, 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 big discussion about the fight and how she would fight with her mother, how she would fight with the neighbor. And the main experience that came up was intense annoyance, intense irritation. And she just wanted that they just you go from here. She wanted to fight with them. And when we spoke about the fight, she spoke about violence. She speaks about the violence in the street, in different, different, different areas of life. And a very strong theme of a stronger versus weaker came up. I'm not going into the details of the expressions. So what we could see, what we could observe was for us, there was sudden violence aspect of stronger versus weaker. We know it's a kind of an animal kingdom but the qualities of survival that she expressed was of suddenness, of high pace, sudden violence, of her speech, her pace, intense annoyance, intense irritation, and people and things and the noise and all those things intruding into her space, into her life. And of course, her stinging pains, intense stinging pains. Obviously, this is insect sucking. Now, for me, the problem is, you know, which insect? Because that's where I was stuck. We would need some strong something to go to the source. So as I spoke about that case is where the kingdom is clear, sometimes even sub kingdom is clear, but the source is not clear because I did a case again, I did retake, but she would just not go deeper into her experience. What do we do in such cases? Then, because see, you see the number of remedies which insect am I going to give? Am I going to give a butterfly? Am I going to give a Culex? Am I going to give a Epis? 
Am I which one? So many insects are there. That's when the other method which comes. So in such cases, what we do is look for myism, look for keynotes, or look for intense source words. Sometimes we even use the pathology. So any of the hints we use, only thing we do not do is theorize. But we look for something which is concrete, which is very solid, and which can take us exactly to the source. So I go into my, let's change the repertory. Let's go back to our reliable repertory that we are talking about. So when I was asking her, one beautiful thing she said was that I cannot eat food unless I add vinegar into it. Every food, I would add vinegar and then I would, take, I would eat because I really crave for it. So intense and a strong craving for vinegar, that is what came up. So do you know which is the insect which has a strong vinegar craving? So this is the rubric. So what I will do is I will put it into a new clipboard and we will just examine only that. So we have hepar, we have sepia, iris. So which is the insect that we are looking here? So I would, one option is put a filter of only animal or just go here, go to animal and say, show me only insect remedies. So then you see Epis and Mesca Domestica. And now we know that, oh, she had intense stinging pains, which were better by cold, drinking cold things. But because that symptom was not very intense, but now when you go back and when you look, oh, this hurried speech, the speech, this restlessness, the speech, and everything is falling into the right place. And the remedy that we gave was Epis, and she did very beautiful, very, very good response that came. Wow, yes. a lot. There is a lot, Parish. Um, and of course, I mean, I know that. Um, Synergy gives trainings, but they also need to update them, of course, now that the new version is out. And um, what I was looking at here in the chat is also there is a bit of a confusion about, oh, I have the full uh, version of the software, but I'm, I don't have Vital Quest. So, and as far as I remember, there was when the, sh the shift was happening, there was a special offer to add it directly to the software, which I did at that time. But otherwise, it's, a, it's like an expert tool you have to, to uh, purchase extra. Yeah? True. Yes, you are right. So, earlier we have different modules. So, we had Mac Repertory as one program, we had Reference Works as another program. Mm -hmm. And we had vital quest as a third one. Now, what we have done in homeopathy for our patients, we need all the tools together in our cases. So what we have done is our Mac repertory or our repertory software has come up here, which is our repertory area with all the different repertories that you have. They can come up here. Our whole reference works or our library with its search function. You see the search which is here, which is always on. Mm -hmm. So always search in repertory and reference library. So that is there. So we have what we have done is reference works, Mac repertory, and vital quest. We have put them together. Of course, vital quest is an extra module because those who follow sensation method they would really need vital quest. So for them, this is 
already there so we can we can do a synergy of different methods coming up together mm. yeah and also when when you go back to the clipboards um when you select rubrics like we have three, four, five rubrics. Then on the left side, you see also the abbreviation. So RR is re reliable repertory. Yes. But you can combine. I mean, this is for me the the magic Copy. that you can yes. search in in the. You can go. You can have a rubric from the complete nineteen, or you can have one from from as if symptoms from Robert's repertory or whatever you like, you can put it together and you will always have the approbation on the clipboard. Yeah? Yes, you can, you can select rubrics from different repertories. So let's say, for example, I go into the repertory and say, I want to use repertory Ellen's repertory. I can put it here, simply select and enter. You see it is happening very quickly and you may find, oh, how did it go there? You simply select a rubric and click enter. Mm -hmm. It goes here. By mistake, if you do it two times, it will tell you the rubric is already present. Mm -hmm. And then when you go here, you can see all your rubrics here. What I can do is actually combine two rubrics together and say, okay, give it a name of theme and I can combine these two rubrics together mm -hmm. and you can see that rubric is here mm -hmm. or what I can simply do is use some symptom as an elimination symptom and then do a elimination here so I can just simply put it into an elimination And then you can do plus, minus, show remedies, show graph, and you can play around with it. So if I want to use any one as an eliminated rubric or two as a thing, do combine, do cross, just possibilities are immense. Yeah. Or simply create my own strategies, I can do that. I can observe graph in a different way with a number or with a bar graph in a different possible ways that I can do it together. Great. Another question, Parash, was in the chat, um, the German translation, if it's available, is it already available? And as yes. Far, like, yes, it is available. Mm -hmm. uh, so not all the books. So we have a German version since a long, long time. So we have an interface, which is German. We have some repertories, which are Ger in German language. We have books, Materia Medica books, which are in German. So we, it's a good collection. Mm -hmm. And I also used uh, the, in the former version, which has of course, or had some, some bugs. And I mean, I would also invite everybody to be, of course, also a bit patient because it's a, it's a giant project. It's a giant project. And the first thing is to have something where we can rely on but then it has to improve as well so but the the version i had before which looked also completely different um this one has it has the german and the english and the nice thing is you can search in different languages yeah yes different results and can compare but for me i want to highlight once more again the magic for me in this software is that you before I had to apply three different ones, or let's say two Mac repertory and reference works. And now we have only one and we can easily click it on or off. And we can have so many comparison in, in just one click. Yeah. I also, maybe you can show us that <clears throat> when you open that clipboard one uh, with the seven rubrics, just uh, use <clears throat> Uh, now maybe we can uh, turn off the the family search okay i can just simply or delete that one or just make a let's do it here yeah so when you use the right mouse and and you don't know exactly about the substance yeah that you go down and view remedies family yeah on the bottom 
and then you can select the the source where does that remedy actually belong to which i love with the plants because sometimes there is a plant you don't know exactly the name but then you can say okay arnica or let's take a sarum and then we can see aha according to Dahlgren's plant or according to Cronquist it's in the Magnolia uh, in the first subclass yeah or it belongs to the Aristolochialis so this is amazing to quickly have a reference where am I here yeah and when you click on it it will restrict only to that mm. wonderful or you can study more by simply clicking her and going into materia medica and reading that Mm-hmm. or viewing the substance information or not get limited but go online and study whatever information which is available online on google further or you go on to provings info mm-hmm. website because he has lot of source information all these things you can do mm-hmm. and the beauty uh, which you announced a while ago is also that this is like it's browser based that means there will be also a future version for an ipad or phone that you on the go you visit yes. a patient and you can can have a copy on your phone or on your ipad and you can always on your go in the car you can do uh, case solving yeah which in the modern world is fantastic. Yes. Or you're in the campsite and you need quickly <laughs> take a sensation case with vital quest, use your phone, solar panel to charge it and you go. Yeah. Yes. True. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. So yeah. so we have lot of exciting things coming up. We are coming up with our new version in a short time. we are coming up with lot of analysis developments and we are working very closely with dr massimo about it hmm. we are working with dr dr rajan shankar and he is giving us super class and sub class developments which is good work is already done so in future in once we release that as an update you will be able to see this vital quest analysis what you saw what you were seeing here Mm-hmm. you will also see super class sub class idea in the text approach you will analyze also with super class sub class idea mm. so so in the text approach you will have one more button here analyze with super class and sub class idea mm. we are working with different teachers and trying to include their work their latest work into this new provings new remedies just is an as an example in the next update which is coming in 10 days we have added 4000 new remedies mm. just imagine we right. already had few thousand and adding 4000 newer remedies mm. it's a huge so always in my life we have looked at reference works in this software as a tool which gives us every information available in homeopathy mm. Yeah. and that's exactly we want to live up to that that dream mm-hmm. so we can we can also summarize it as you can do highly sophisticated work you can do scientific work you can go in depth in so many different methods but to co- simplify it as well you can just simply use the software to study materia medica to learn about a, a source to to learn about a substance and as i can see this popping up a few times here in the chat of course don't forget to go to the synergy um, the homepage um, and to the website and and join these free trainings online trainings video courses hupali lucy balch they offer um, free courses to train you in this in the usage of this software and this is a, a wonderful tool for me yeah parish that was great thank you really really thank great. you very much all of you deep thanks to all of you for listening to me yeah it was a wonderful sharing the case and also i mean i was so impressed the maybe you can do that <laughs> once more again but you don't have to this 
you have a copy of your notes from your case, you just copy it into Vital Quest, you click a button, and then you have all the keywords highlighted, and then you get one another click, and you have the mammals, which I was thinking of, of course, when you were reading a case. But the, here you have your confirmation. Stunning. Wonderful. Thank you.